Well, good afternoon and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. So this is the 28th, I think today, this is Wednesday, I hope it's the 28th of July. And this is Aspen's kids. So today they're gonna get a collar. We're gonna weigh them. They've never been in the grass, so this is kind of a new experience for them. We brought a couple, just a couple toys out to see if they'd even be interested in looking. I think they'll get a little bit more confident the more they're out here. Uh, these guys are four weeks and three days old, and they are running around in the kennel with mom like crazy, but this will be a little bit of a scary thing for them. I'm not gonna let you hide. No, you keep wanting to bury yourself and hide. I'm kind of glad they won't get, uh, we made this pin a little bit too big, so hopefully today they'll sit right here where I can get a hold of them. All right, so we are gonna start, and that one's gonna smell the, you're gonna hide your face. I'm gonna get you first. Oh, these guys are getting so big. This one is the Merle that looks chocolate, but I don't think it's a chocolate. It's 8319, and this is a male. He says, I'm not as afraid as I were the other day. So you were a little bit more afraid the other day, weren't you? Coats are beautiful. They've got such pretty coats. They've had their first four-way puppy shot, which was a Neopar. And we're gonna give this one a neon orange collar. And I'm trying to figure out collar color-wise. Yeah, that'll work. I'm trying to figure out who we can put on what color to make them show up the best. So this guy is gonna have a neon collar on until the day he goes home. And then we'll take it off that day to wash him and you can pick what kind of collar you want when they go home. What are you doing? Did you decide not to hide? You're gonna be okay, you think? Okay, here's my other hiding person. So we're gonna set this one out here and kind of give it a shock treatment. Oops, gotta turn the scale on. I see ya. I know, I see ya. I didn't mow my grass, can you tell? You can't even see the stupid scale. Oh my gosh, that's a long reach. We are at four pounds, 8.5 ounces today. There, what do you think, bud? He says, I don't think I like it, but I'm okay. You're not gonna have a fit, are you? All right, let's set you down. All right, so you're sitting over here in front of the scale, so let's do you. This is the salt and pepper, and I'm sure this one's gonna turn salt and pepper, because you can really see that salt and pepper underneath there. So this is a male, and let me find my microchipper. Where'd I put it? You know, I didn't get up. How do you... I could lose anything, even if I'm sitting here. 8314 is the microchip number. This is the one that I forgot to microchip. And I put his new chip number on the website, and I actually just put it in him. He's still got alcohol in his hair. So I finally got him microchipped. And let's see. We're going to give you your dark color. Let's give you a blue one. This one I think I have to make a little bit smaller because this one's going to be really big. I'm really anxious for next week. Next week they will be monster players. We'll get out some toys and we'll see what we can get them to do. Maybe they'll try the, the little tight toy. Do you think so? I love the face. I hope the muzzle stays dark when he's older, but you never know. All right, so this one is... Three pounds, 14.5 ounces as of today. I'm gonna put you out here. All right, let's see, who else is moving around? You're moving around, so before you, I lose you, let me get you. This is another male. This is microchip number 8316. This one says, there's something on my neck and I'm gonna die any minute I'm not moving. This one is also not near as salt and peppery as the other one, more of a buff or a light silver maybe. Where are you going? Where are you going? I see you peeking up here at me. Yes, I do. All right, so let's give you, let's give you a yellow one. All right, let's see if this one's, yeah, this will fit. Make sure it doesn't come off. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was the wagon that Vanessa brought these guys down and it was sitting up at the house and all of a sudden it came zooming down here so 
It's a ghost. It's a ghost. Oh, let me see. He has three pounds, 8.5, and he has got yellow collar on, and he'll have that till he goes home. Can you peek your face? They're so cute. Did I do your chip? 83.16, I did. All right, let's move you out here and let you, you can go out here too. I don't want you being back here hiding. All right, since you're playing with my scale, let's do you. This one is the other male that is white with a really pretty marked face. I know, it's a good babies. And I love this dark tail. See, that's it. So we got a little bit on our tail and a little bit on this one side of the hip. And that's it. See, the rest of me is all white, but oh my golly, does he have a coat like crazy. Are you back again? All right, so let's give you the turquoise. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Are you gonna chew on my fingers? I know. You're gonna chew on my fingers. Come on, put your head up here. All right, so this one has a turquoise collar. And I'll bet this one's in the four pound range. Are you a chunker? Are you a chunky monkey? Let's see what you weigh. You're heavy going across there. Three pounds, 13.5. I see your tail wiggling. All right, let's put you over here. There you go. And you're back. Let's put you out here. There goes the air conditioner. And let's get you over here. All right, let's do, let's do the blue Merle. You are the prettiest phantom Merle. So somebody always asks me what phantom means. So on a Merle, a phantom Merle has the brown up the legs, brown on the face, brown in the ear, and if I turn him around, brown under the tail. Huh, see, and you've got a really pretty coat. Oh my goodness, you're a pretty baby. Is your pretty baby. All right, so we're gonna give this one Oh, there's a mosquito in my ear. We have had more mosquitoes out here this year. I want to work out in the garden this week, and I'm going to have to go get some off woods, or what is it called? Whatever. Bug repellent. That's a good name. Just plain old bug repellent. Where are you going? Where are you going? My blackberries are almost ready, and I need to work in the blackberry patch, and I think the mosquitoes live there waiting on me. All right, so you have a purple collar. Bugs. All right, can you look up here? Let me see your eyes. No blue eyes, no blue eyes. All right, let's see what you weigh. I gotta give you a microchip number two. Three pounds, 12.5. This one says, oh, this feels good on my belly. His legs are stretched out here backwards. All right, let's see what your chip is. 8324 is the microchip number. There you go, buddy. Down you go. All right, who else has snuck up here in my leg? Oh, you're a big one. This one is the Phantom. Are you hiding? Are you scared? I know you're scared. You'll be all right. Everybody always says, oh, mine's so scared. No, it's just because of their age. Somebody is always scared at this age. And it looks like the biggest pup in the litter is the scared pup. And she is, like, not liking this at all. So we're going to give her the pink collar. What are you doing? Are you over here? I know I see you. I see you, too. Oops. 8317 is her microchip number. What are you doing? What are you doing? And let me see what she weighs. Ugh. Four pounds, 4.5. You're going to sit down? Can you sit up here and look at Vanessa? Can you look at Vanessa? I know, you're a big girl. You're not happy, are you? No, you're not happy, but you'll live. And you just keep coming over here by me to go to sleep, so I want you to go out that way. All right, you're my last victim. So this one is the other female, and we're gonna give her the neon green. I tried to save a bright colored collar for her. Where are you going? You're, you're not afraid, are you? No, you're playing. I 
know your plan. Is your plan? I know. Next week you want to crawl in everybody's lap. All right, this one is eighty-three eighteen. Can you look up there and look, see Vanessa get your face picture? Change in color. So you can definitely see right here, absolutely going to change color. This is still black, but it won't be. It's going to change from the, bo the bottom up. So both sides are the same way. I would say, hi there, where are you going? Are you exploring? I would say this is going to be buff from the looks of it. That means this whole body is going to change color in the next couple months. The head is already changing. If I can sit her up here this way and not scare her, you can see the back of her head. But it's got a lot of red on it, so I don't know what the red is. Are you going to be red or buff? You don't know, do you? You don't know, do you? Are you coming back around? I know she's back here behind me. I can feel her. Mmm. All right, let's see what this one weighs. Okay, we got to turn the scale back on. Now you're just all confident, aren't you? You're just going everywhere. Yeah, you're just going everywhere. All right, let's see. This one is three pounds, 12.5. All right, no shoes. Don't chew my shoes. So that's the story on these guys with their chip numbers and their weights. They're doing really good. By next week, they're going to be uncontrollable. Uh, they're crazy when they're pinned with their mom, but they're used to that 5x10 cubicle. And they haven't been out much away from her like this and never in the grass. So this grass is a whole new experience for them. A uh, couple of them are still afraid. A couple of them are actually moving around and, and not afraid. This one is like, she's ready to go. Or he's ready to go. Is you ready to go? You're busy. You're busy. Yes, you're busy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, yep. So, if you have any questions about these guys, um, as the puppies sell, the ones that are sold, I'm going to move to the bottom of the page. And you can, uh, the ones above it that just have um, the color and the sex, those have not been sold yet. So I always post the name of the family when they take a puppy, and I put it on the bottom. So if you're seeing this on YouTube, You'll have to check the website to see what's available in this litter. I did post Grace's litter today, and uh, she's got, what are you doing? I know you're chewing on my hand and you have no teeth. I know you're busy. It doesn't take them long to get comfortable once they finally get comfortable. And then they get, you're just wanting to hide. I'm not gonna let you hide. But they're all doing really good. Oh, somebody threw up. Okay, we're going to have to put grass on it, people. I don't want you to step in it. Somebody was nursing before they came out. And stressing, they threw up. So, anyway, um, please give us a call if you have questions. And I'll be glad to answer whatever I can. And until then, we'll do a new video next week. So, I hope you've enjoyed their video. And they're doing great. And we'll talk to you later.